Pussy Puppy 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 Kick Pussy Suck Pussy What They Do Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. It seems as if everywhere these Jamaicans go, them bring them bad attitude with them, them bring them criminal mind itself with them. About a week or so ago, we heard that the Popo in a Jamaica, in a collaboration with the Cayman Popo, ceased to fire peace. Based on the information, it is said that those fire piece that were found seized in a Cayman are linked to at least five takeaway in a Jamaica. One of those persons that they held is a selector. He is known affectionately on the road as Wandan. This is his picture right here. He is a selector. Now people, we see say, the Wandan trial just recently concluded and 14 individuals were sentenced to some times in which people are say questionable. The main culprits, black man Brian E got 39.5, Muma get about 11 or so, don't quote me. However, the question I have to ask is that when these criminal mind leave Jamaica, a place that is plagued with crime and violence, and them decide say them are going to people them Good, good country as in Cayman Island, a place that has proper management, very little criminal activity. And them decide that them got entangled in a dirty bungle. Don't you see exactly the type of predicament that they find themselves in? Such is the case as it pertains to Selector Wandan. He is presently wanted. He is presently on the run. The Popo in a Cayman, the Popo in a Jamaica want him just like how the flowers need the rain, meaning badly. What is going to be the outcome that is yet to be determined, point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called DEAD Left Legacy. Meaning, whenever anybody lose them life by whatever means, natural or unfortunate means, and they leave any sorts of property to any sorts of family members, there is always all sorts of squabbling, especially when there is no sorts of will left. If these people are desperate and evilous, it will turn D-E-A-D-L-Y. Such might be the case as it pertains to an incident that occurred in which the principal of St. Richard's Infant and Preschool in St. Andrew was conned up at multiple times. It is said that she was in her yard when a yang yang rolled by with some people, the pillion jump off at the back, blaze up multiple con. It is said that about 20 or 30 cannot validate or verify based on information word on the street that is out there and people remember word on the street is not always a hundred percent proof it is said that this was over the motive behind this is based on some sorts of dead left legacy over some sorts of land and property property or land that was left this case is said to have been in a court. It is said that the principal won the case and it seems as if this is the repercussion. Now, what it proves to me is that gone are the days in which you have certain position, you would be respected, you would almost have immunity. People would not want to do anything to you. They would not say, yeah, man, a principal X, Y, R, Z that she would be untouchable. However, based on this new generation principle and protocol, nobody is respected anymore. People, meaning little picnic, then they respect them parents, then they respect no sorts of elder, then they care of who around the place. Everybody gone rogue, everybody can get it. Everybody is an equal and opportune target. So therefore, if you diss somebody, they can hire just about anybody for a little rate. 
and that person would be willing to take you away without asking any sorts of questions. We see how devastated and inconvenienced persons were because they must say somebody really tried to take away a nice lady like this that not give any sorts of problem is well respected in the community. So therefore, if them can't try for K-I-L-L her, then who wouldn't they try for take away? People, it is quite obvious that, listen, people will take you away for petty stuff. People will take you away for no sorts of reason, any at all. People are willing to take money and just do any sorts of ungodly sorts of act. It does not matter who, which part, where and when. It seems as if violence is the only solution. There is no sorts of amicable agreement. People don't agree with the court. People are just selfish. They are just for self. And if they feel as if they are wrong, they are going to make sure that there is some sorts of reprisal. They are going to seek some sorts of revenge, whether it is justified or not. Point blank and Period. Further on in the news, it seems as if these mad bots out of hell, they were at it once again and caused the life of at least one, maybe three persons and also many other injured. I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Long Hill that is in St. James where it is said that a bus driver driving a bus lost control, don't know the reason, went over some sorts of gully precipice like them call it, maybe about a hundred meters deep, that would be in excess of 300 feet. So therefore you know so that far. Based on the information, it is said that there were some students, along with other passengers, students from Anchovy High School, cannot validate or verify. I am going to let the fire brigade explain everything that occurred in intricate details and then I'll give my piece. Chairman D'Souza, Acting Senior Superintendent, Division Commander of the Fire Brigade Division, St. James. Can you give us a report on what happened here today? Approximately 3.32 p.m. We received a call at our information room that a coaster bus um, with children went over the gully here in Long Hill. We responded promptly to the call. We sent out three units and two ambulances from the fire brigade. After we sent out those units, we put the Cornwall Regional Hospital on standby. When our first commander got here and he assessed the situation and we realized those are Highest bus. Highest bus was down the gully, mandled. We did some execution and we extricated four children and three adults and we sent them to the Cornwall Regional Hospital. Um, we did a 360 of the area because in situations like these and based off the distance from road, we did a 360 degree. Um, of the area twice to see if anybody else was thrown from the vehicle or anybody was near the incident. So the incident is no render safe because everybody have been out and at the hospital. So only seven persons were in the 15 seat bus. Seven persons. Oh. So people like you hear the man say based on the information that I am getting not verified is that the driver definitely gone, maybe two other persons. Whole heap of people broke up. The vehicle, a highest bus, was a mangled mess. That means that it looked like something cramped down upon it. Everything kind of dent up. I don't know how anybody live. Luckily, there were only seven persons in a 15-person vehicle. Had there been more persons, more than likely, the possibility or probabilities are more persons would have lost their life or even got injured. Moral of the story is this. Whenever you are driving on these country roads, especially when there is no sorts of barrier, please to slow down. You cannot be bobbing and weaving, taking, passing people 
in a some sorts of blind corner it is a recipe for disaster and each time these people try they realize that it did not work out and when it does not work out people end up getting hurt getting k-i-l-l-e-d such is the case right here don't know the specific but you and i know that it had to be some sorts of bad driving point blank and period Further on in the news, it is called a next cabbie bites the dust. If you look at your screen, this is a picture of a cabman, the picture that I can show. There's also a next picture with him laying on his seat in his vehicle. That picture, because of YouTube's policy, cannot be shown. However, I can explain. He is laying on his back, gasping for breath. The whole of his face is pretty much in red. That means uh, B-L-O-O-D, just a spray out. Unfortunately for him, he lost his will to survive R-E-D-I-E-D. -E -E it is said that he works from downtown to Kingston, St. Andrew. However, people, there will be one more vacancy for our next cabman. Don't know what he did. Don't know what is the motive. However, there is no sort of justification for anybody taking away anybody's life. However, we know that this is Jamaica and the protocol has changed for the Wasara. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it seems as if Jamaica is now MIA. Not MIA as in Miami International Airport or Miami. No, it is missing in action. The person that you see on the screen is named, government name, Jason Neal. O.C. Rambo, he has been missing for a couple of days. This person's family is very deeply concerned and justifiably so. And this is based on the fact that they heard that they found a couple of B.O.D.I.E.S. at the gate of Alpart, which is in a St. Elizabeth. This is the reaction that the family got when they went by the scene of the C-R-I-M-E. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. How am I going to find son, Sam? How am I going to what I saw you want to know if I saw you want to know if I saw you want to you want to know if I saw you want to know if that crime scene is not supposed to be disturbed. However, under the circumstance, if a family shows up and them say, my have a son or my have a daughter that missing, I don't think that there's anything wrong for one of those officers, investigators, to bring that parent, whether a father, whether a mother, any sorts of guardian, to take a look just to verify if a him or not just to give them some sorts of relief or some sorts of conclusion. But based on what these persons are saying, 40 hours no pass as yet and people, the rule was after 24 hours. However, I think that they have changed that policy. So therefore, for this investigator to be telling the people, them say, and no 40 hours gone as yet, he is pretty much violating the people, especially when they are stressed out. And I understand that you don't want to compromise the scene of a crime, but me just as say there should be some sort of amicable agreement. Hopefully these people find them family member. Hopefully he is not D E A D. However, in a Jamaica after twenty four hours or so as an adult, the results are never usually good. Hope for the best and expect the worst. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dance All Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.